it's the sock apocalypse. It's the sock apocalypse. It's it's the sock apocalypse. It's the sock apocalypse. Hi, and welcome to another video from Imagine Landscapes. I'm Sarah Shira, and I design knitting patterns. I also have a supremely knit-worthy family, and my husband only likes to wear hand-knitted socks. Now, this is obviously by choice. I am not complaining that he likes to wear knitted socks. In fact, I'm really lucky because he is somebody who loves wearing colorful socks, and I don't have to stick to boring navy and gray and brown and black socks. But because he only wears hand knitted socks and he wears them all year round, even in summer, he likes to wear his socks. He wears them pretty hard and I had built up a really big section and his sock drawer was nice and full. And then I started paying attention to other things like maybe my sock drawer and a pair here for the kids and a sweater. And all of a sudden he needed to throw out nine pairs of socks last year. I'm gonna say that again, nine pairs of socks hit the garbage. So clearly I needed to start repairing things. And I'm not just talking little holes that were easy to repair. We're talking like worn where there was a hole then there was a whole area around the hole that was meshy and worn and just paper thin. So clearly I had to then start knitting some more socks. And I even called it sock apocalypse one and sock apocalypse two when I was knitting. So last year I knit this pair of socks. This wonderful yarn. This is Biscotte and C. They are a Canadian hand dyer who does really amazing stripes where it starts dark and gets lighter and lighter and then darker and darker again. And I really am in love with that. So I knit this pair. This is Sock Apocalypse 1. And guess what we discovered this week? Yeah, another hole. So Sock Apocalypse has gone meta because the sock apocalypse socks are now starting to have their own sock apocalypse which i don't even know what to say about <laughs> so i've cast on some more socks and um i'm just gonna work on keeping him happily socked and his feet happily warm in freezing cold manitoba winters well and summers and falls because he wears them all the time. So what are your favorite hand dyed yarns that really stand up to hard wearing? Our family can't do socks that are only merino or only wool. We definitely have to have a nylon blend. And I'd love to be knitting gorgeous, sumptuous hand dyed yarns that can handle being worn really frequently because this favorite pairs, he wears a lot. This pair, he wore once, twice, three times a week. So what yarns, like this is not a bad yarn. It's not the yarn's fault. It's that he's a really sock loving guy. What yarns do you knit? And how do you cope with a sock apocalypse? How does anyone cop cope with a sock apocalypse? How does anyone spell sock apocalypse? I don't know. Sock apocalypse. Thanks for liking and subscribing and commenting. I really want you guys to chime in. If you want to find out about me and the audio podcast I do with my sister, check out imaginelandscapes.com. There's also links to the patterns I do. I have not yet designed a sock pattern, but that may change very soon. Thanks for watching. Happy knitting. <laughs>